It's time to turn your life challenging moments into life changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Where is hope? That's the title of our interview for today with Chastity Lewis McMillan, and you are in for a treat. But before we jump into the interview, let me ask you a a couple of questions. Have you considered writing your book? you know you have a story inside of you. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I plead with you, don't take your story to the grave. So I want to ask you again, are you ready to tell your story? Take your story to the stage and are you ready to become a published author? If you answered yes to either of those questions, then you can jump into the Authors Academy We only have open enrollment once a year, and this is the month for open enrollment, May 2023, and we are, the class is filling up, so if you are interested in joining, then reach out to me. Um, All the information will be in the show notes below, and you can, you still have time to secure a seat in that class. The other two ways that you can um, become a published author is through our Telling Our Stories Anthology, Volume 3, that will come out this year. And then we have our Writer's Journey community, which is a community of writers that meet every Monday. All of our classes or via Zoom. So if you're in another state, even another country, don't worry about Uh, missing a class because it is via Zoom and we have some great lessons. So um, these are your opportunities to connect with us and get that book out of you so that it will be a blessing to others. The last thing that I'll say before we jump into the interview with Chastity is if you have not subscribed to the Powell of Stories podcast housed here, on my YouTube channel, please subscribe now. Please subscribe and I say thank you. Also hit the notification bell so that each week when we have a new episode that comes out, you will be able to take part in listening to that episode. And if you are listening or watching and you have a story that you would like to share, contact me so that I can get you on the podcast as well. All right, let's jump into our interview with Chastity. Enjoy. Well, I have the privilege and the honor today to interview one of our newest authors who just stepped off of the stage (laughs) at our 2023 Powerful Journey Women's Conference and did an amazing job. Uh, So Chastity, welcome to the Powell of Stories podcast. Thank you, Ms. Phyllis. It's a pleasure to be here with you today and to be on your podcast. I mean, I'm so grateful and blessed to be going through my journey with you. It is so delightful. And, you know, I'm just in awe you know, with everything that we are walking through the last couple of years with sharing my story with you and going through the writing. And it's just been truly a blessing to see that my life story has now blossomed. 
Amen. Amen. Indeed, it has blossomed. And let me just share a little about Chastity. And Chastity, I'm going to ask you to fill in what I leave off, and then we'll jump into the interview. So as you just heard, Chastity is one of our newest authors uh, of the Telling Our Stories Anthology Volume 2. But next year, she will be on stage with her own book. So we're super excited about that. Chastity is a wife, a mother. Um, she is building a brand around her story. As, as we just said, um, she is going to write her book next. And But she's already impacting lives with her story, and that's what we're excited about. So, Chastity, I'm going to ask you to fill in what I left off. I know that you reside in San Antonio, Texas, but let's share a little bit more about you, and then we'll jump into the interview. Yes. As you say, I'm a wife and a mother of three beautiful children. And yes, I have shared my story in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with many women, but now to take this journey to the stage has been more impactful for me. Also, you know, with me releasing more and just continue to grow with my story and um, to continue to grow with my story and share my story to many about my journey or how I walked through. The title of my story was Where is Hope? And I remember when I first went through my brokenness and realized my brokenness. I was so broken. And I know many of you probably have went through the journey of life where it's, you're broken, you don't know where to turn. It's so much trauma and pain that you are feeling deep down inside. And you're wondering, how can I get through the situation? So through my time of going through my journey and overcoming, I did a lot of with power praying, scripture reading, worshiping, and faith-based counseling. And through that, I found a deeper desire within myself of spending time alone, you know, with God and with myself and, you know, really digging deep and within myself, trying to heal myself. I also bought a woman's Bible to try to help me because I know there is many women that if you study the Bible, like Ruth, the woman at the well, the woman with the issue of blood, they all have went through trauma and pain. And so as I study, I learned that through their trauma and pain and through scripture reading and meditation that I was able to get through my journey and heal and take the proper tools and the proper steps as a domestic violence survivor and to overcome. Love that. And so we're going to just jump into your story because you just said that the title of your life changing message is where is hope. And we know that there are many watching today that's asking that very same question. Um, maybe you're in um, a, a domestic violence situation, or maybe you're just going through another challenge or season in your life. And you're saying, God, where, where, where is hope? Where, where is hope? So Chastity, let's share your life-changing story. So as I was approaching, you know, asking a God, where is hope? I went through many stages and many stages I know is within our thoughts where we ask the Lord different questions and why and things like that. And sometimes we may feel fearful of moving forward. But the Lord one day told me and I listened to the Lord and I told the Lord, it's time. It's time for me to either let go. It might be a time for you to even let go of the situation to leave. Or it might be a time within your life where you have walked through and it's time to let go of the trauma and the pain. And so I asked the Lord, you know, it's time. I give up. And so once I gave up, doors started opening up for me. I just started walking through and letting the Lord lead and guide me through my story, through my situation. Supernaturally, things started happening as far as like me finding a home for my children. You know, even finding a, a stable job. Everything that I want to desire is keep my, even with coming to keeping my children, not letting them be aware of the situation, not to have them go into a different environment and notice that, you know, what we have really just walked through, just trying to keep that joy happening 
So it's like when I first walked through my story and I took that first step with faith, the Lord took the other steps for me. And he was walking right along beside me the whole time. I remember, you know, sharing with my mom, like, and I know this is not right, but I was like, Jesus, my boyfriend right now <laughs> is because that was my safety net. He was my safety net. He was, you know, I woke up every morning with my three favorite worship songs and, you know, to gain strength and endurance for my day. Because there are many mornings that you may not feel like, you know, you're best, but you know, you got to go put your first foot forward and going on out there. So those songs that I listened to, Kelly Light empowered me within myself. And that is what hope is. Hope is the desire for something real, real deep that you cannot even imagine, that you cannot even touch. But it's just a good feeling, a joy, unexpected joy, unexpected peace, unexpected love that we will surround you to help you to get through your journey, to get you through your pain, to get you through your day-to-day -day life. And that's what I needed every single day because without my hope within Jesus Christ, I was defeated and I felt defeated. Within my story, I remember sharing how I stayed at home one day, defeated. And that was, you know, a moment where I experienced a lot of different things that I didn't want to experience no more. And without hope, hope can leave you feeling empty or, you know, you fearing. So I was like, I didn't want to feel empty no more. I didn't want to fear. So I had to put my trust back into the Lord, meditate on my words and my scripture and my prayer. And I just, you know, just kept praying that each day I gained strength and endurance. I love just that. Better. Love that. And for that woman who is watching today and you are walking in those very same shoes that Chastity walked in, did you hear the steps that she said that she took? That first of all, she just spent time with the Lord so much so that she just said, Jesus is my boyfriend. And so <laughs> I can see how that mindset would help to develop a closer relationship with the Lord. Uh, walking and talking with him and reading his word. And uh, she mentioned her favorite three songs. And and so I, I want to, to say to you, uh, do the same thing. Get where you are, uh, first of all, expecting to re receive hope. Have that expectation and then have conversations with God. Don't be afraid to share with him. As Chastity just said, don't be afraid to share with him what's on your heart and don't be afraid to ask him questions. You know why? He already knows what you, what you're <laughs> thinking. And so uh, he welcomes you to voice that. And as Chastity stated, her faith began to get stronger and that, that hope came back where it needed to be in her life. And that is our prayer for you today uh, for that person who's watching that's, that's saying, um, I I need hope to come back into my life. And so Chastity, as we continue with your story, and we've, we've already talked about how you've seen God um, in your story, how you've seen him bring you through it. Is there anything else that you want to share about seeing God turn your situation around? Yes, ma'am. Like, oh, uh, I remember like, you know, normally when we go to pray, we want to have this bit list. But I couldn't have my bit list because it was so much that my bit list would be consisted of. So Psalms 23 mm -hmm. was my favorite scripture. Psalms 23 cover a whole lot of things when you're going through trauma and pain. It just wraps it up all at once. And then just saying the Lord's prayer. And each night for years, that was my prayer. I didn't ask for anything. I didn't pray about anything else. Just says Psalms 23 and the Lord's prayer. And during those times, God will deposit tools within you, within your vision, within your dream, through strangers coming across your path. 
it might be a day at my job where I just probably felt I had a smile on my face, but my inner self would feel something different and a person would just pass by and give me a word. Mm -hmm. And I used to be like, thank you, Lord, Mm because I know you're here because it might be sometimes where we might feel that God is not there, but he is. We just be patient, wait on his timing and, you know, just keep walking through. So every day, that every night, that was my nightly prayer with Psalms 23 in the Lord's Prayer. And I watched how God just took things and turned them around for me. He opened doors for me that was unimaginable. And I just kept moving within his timing, mm-hmm. not my timing and not my will, but let his will be done in your life. And that's the most positive thing I can tell you. Let God will be done in your life. He already, Jeremiah 29 11 says, God already know the purpose and plans of our life. And the number one word was not to harm us. That shows right there how much God loves us. Yes. And he will hold our hand. He will guide us. He will lead us. And there might be a time where you might not feel your best. Let it out. Go to him. He's the only one that knows your heart because most of the time we try to make explain it to a girlfriend, to a coworker, or to someone. And sometimes we, we might still walk away and not feel like uh, it just wasn't there. But go to the Lord. Pour out your heart to him and your tears to him. And I always tell a person, the tears that you flow out is the tears that he's flowing back in. Love that. I oh, love that. And I believe that I heard in your introduction that you do recommend Christian counseling for um, the person that is struggling in this area to go get help. Yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I do. I know um, many, you know, how I grew up most of the time. I probably wouldn't have not thought about counseling. But how I found counseling within myself was Sometimes I just want to talk about it. And I remember one of my counselors told me, he said, Chastity, when you come in the office, don't think of it as counseling. He said, think of it as a consultation. That me and you are coming together, having this conversation. And how many times I ever you need to come in and have a conversation with me, come. And what, what I experienced with doing that was I would go. We would talk. And what I would do is leave it there. That's good. Let it go. I would go home. I would rest. I would be in peace. And what I noticed the next morning, a certain feeling is undescribable, Mm -hmm. but you will be refreshed and renewed. And that's how I put my trust in faith-based counseling. Love that. Love that. So don't be afraid to go and get professional counseling, as you just heard Chastity say. So Chastity, as we begin to wrap up, I want to set the stage because you just stood on stage and you shared your life changing message. There were women in the audience, as far as you could see, um, rows and rows of women. And as you were sharing your message, you saw women wiping tears because they have walked in your shoes or were walking in them presently. You saw women that were leaning in and shaking their head. Um, You saw women that were rocking and because they were mirroring your situation. But now you have shared your story. They stood to their feet. They gave you a standing ovation. They are all turned now to walk to their vehicles. The curtains close on the stage and Chastity Macmillan Lewis is getting ready to walk to your car. What are three lessons that you hoped that every woman walked away with, Chastity? 
My first lesson would be that you continue to allow the Lord to deposit those tools within you to help you get through. Mm -hmm. And no matter what happened, that you continue to move forward, you keep going back to those same foundations. Because those are the main things that we have to keep going back to. It's the basic foundation that he deposits within the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I hope they take that with meditation, being still, reading, meditating on the, on the word of God. Not only that is find yourself within the book of the Bible. I found myself within the book of the Bible. And I hope that they will walk away and find themselves within the book of the Bible. The Bible has over 290 um, hope is in the Bible 291 times. Find your hope within scripture and allow those scriptures to refresh you, to renew you, to keep you moving forward. And the second lesson I would um, would love for them to walk away is take more time with yourself. Mm. Self-love. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the triggers that might arise. Knowing that you will overcome those uh, triggers. You will figure out how to control those triggers. You allow the, the peace of God to help you to control those triggers. You identify them before they even approach you. And you are already turning over to God and be like, Lord, you got this. Not me. And also release your brokenness. Because within our brokenness, there is beauty within pain. That's, that is the word, God's word. There is beauty within pain. It is so valuable during our course of healing. And a lot of the glory of God to be revealed within your life. And my third one would be set those beautiful boundaries. <laughs> that is so much important because once you gain your peace and joy or you overcome some obstacles within your life, set those boundaries. Mm -hmm. Don't allow no one to take you out of that area because God had already replenished you with his characteristics a love, joy, peace, and happiness. And imagine it just being a gift from the Lord. Anytime we receive a gift, we want to hold on to it. We want to cherish it. So cherish those gifts that the Lord gives you and just keep peeling back, keep moving forward, and keep maintaining each level that you grow, maintain it. And you maintain it with prayer, scripture, reading, and meditating and being still. You see how those things keep coming back around over and over again? It's the, your same foundation that you find within yourself and within Christ. What a great word. What a great word. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that those who are watching or even listening have walked away with some valuable points today uh, shared by Chastity. And, and Chastity, if they want to connect with you on social media or um, what other areas, uh, uh, ways you have for them to connect with, how can they? You can connect with me through email with Chastity D. Matt Millen at yahoo.com. Also, you can inbox me or message me with my website on Facebook, The Deepest Within You. And I'll be able to respond back and to answer each, each and one of your questions. My goal is to, you know, post hopeful um, topics within my own Facebook and share the love of Christ with you. Share the love, share the joy, share the happiness, share the positivity or how I got through. And hope, hopefully those things will help you to continue to move forward when you don't have those strengths. I love how God is using your story and how we can see the passion that you have to share and to help others that have gone through it or that are going through it. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you for being here and we look forward to that published book that will come out uh, 
next March and on in April, April 20th to be exact, she will stand on the Powerful Journey Women's Conference stage and take her story to the stage once again and launch her book uh, signing at the conference. So Chastity, thank you again for being here. We look forward to seeing all the great things that God is going to continue to do through you. And for those of you who are our our audience, we say thank you for being here and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.